Hello, hello Libra, and welcome to your reading. For those of you that are new, I am an energy channel, so as an intuitive, sometimes what spirit shows me in the cards may not ring as traditional. Take that as it resonates, leave the rest behind. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Share, right, is very important. Um, liking helps out the algorithms. If you'd like to find out about the extended, the link is down below, or you can find out all about me at mindsetunicorn.me. Um, roles can be reversed. Time is fluid. You may come upon this in a year and it resonates at that time for you, or this is telling you about a storyline that you just went through and it's just confirmation. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. All right, Libra, you're a uh, clean slate here, right? But a little controlled, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We've got morning yellow chakra, the bull and traction. There is something that you are really trying to call in, but you're like, I'm gonna call it in right. I'm gonna keep my cool, very controlled here, okay? But I think that's because of the past. All right, in the past, if this is somebody or something, right, person, place, or thing that uh, you were a little intense with, you don't want to carry that into your future because you feel a little bit guilty about whatever that was. But Spirit's kind of showing me that there's going to be some sort of new awareness where you're going to realize that there was a reason for that intensity, I feel like, okay? And they're showing me the blue flame, which is my symbol for Ophiuchus, my symbol for the divine lovers. All right, hurry, get up here. Come on, hurry, hurry. Libra doesn't have all day. Come on, all this. Hurry. You can do it. Oh, you did it. It's out of my way. Let my mom have some space. Thank you. Thank you. Um... And there's Ace of Wands at the bottom, right? I don't think you were the only intense energy here, okay? Just to be clear. Now, some of you, there may be new coming in, and they just want you to know, right? The intensity is there on both sides. So let's see a little bit more about what's going on here. Okay. Oh, all right. What's still impacting you from the past? Oof, current energies and future possibility. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Underlying. Ooh, big ending that you and you know it's a big ending. And there's the page of swords. You're like, yeah, I know this is a big ending. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I know I'm going through a big, big cycle end here. All right, well, I'm glad you know. That's always helpful. Okay, so let's take a look here. The underlying, the world and the high priestess. Again, right? You're like, it's taken me a few tries, but I have finished a cycle above and below. Okay, um, this was probably something that, if you believe in lifetimes, that it's taken you lifetimes to figure out but I feel like you finally got it and there may be an energy here where this new moon that's coming is going to be almost like the fresh start that morning energy that we saw okay overview here you are mother of swords and the ten of pentacles okay you're like, I know exactly what I want here, okay? And it's gotta be a very solid offer. We've got temperance and the king of pentacles, okay? I do feel like somebody's like, okay, I get what you want. I, I got you, Libra, I got what you want. But you gotta be a little patient here, okay? Because I'm putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears here very deeply into those pentacles so that I can come in and offer you that ten of pentacles. What's still impacting you from the past, 
Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Emperor. I feel like this was tit for tat. Okay. If Libra is the Empress, there's the Emperor. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, right? Like, where you may have been trying to give equally and just wanted equal give and take. There could have been an energy with them of trying to control it, which could be why you're trying to control things now, where it was like, well, I'm gonna give this much and see if they don't give that much back. And if they don't give that much back, then, right? Um, I feel like somebody wasn't very happy it could also have been that this came with the eclipse season last year, but I feel like somebody's life was pretty bland. Okay. And, um, rather than just go with the fact that this is growing equally, they kind of turned it into a game. Okay. Current energies, ace of cups, eight of wands, mother of cups. I almost feel like out of nowhere, you're going to get some sort of heartfelt message, okay? And um, for some of you, this could be an apology. It could be clarifying things. It seems like it opens up a whole lot of space for you. Future possibilities, the two of wands crossed by the moon at the same place at the same time, crossroads, intersection, right? Like meeting in a way that perhaps wasn't known before or just a destined meeting. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Again, somebody's been waiting, holding tight, trying to wait for the right destined moment, okay? And I feel like it's this King of Pentacles because currently, right, you want Ten of Pentacles. On this card, the Ten of Pentacles only shows the Nine. And the big deal is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This King is really working hard on that last Pentacle, okay? So that you can have that Ten of Pentacles. I almost feel like the recognition is going to come that that last pentacle is never going to land unless we do it together, okay? That's the final pentacle. That's the ten of pentacles is we have to put the effort in together because we've got nine of pentacles, each of us, on either side, okay? So let's clarify here a little bit, okay? The world and the high priestess. Please, Spirit. World in the high priestess. Thank you. Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Oof. Someone got called out for something. Now, could it have been you? Yes. Could it have been them? Yes. But I feel like it was a call out. I'm getting two storylines here. It could have been on the one hand, when we were young and in love and you promised X, Y, Z, I believed it, where is it, okay? Somebody feels very burdened by their 10 of coins. And with this nine of swords, it could have been coming in with the Queen of Cups. I believe you have feelings for somebody or something else. You're spending too much time at work. You, I feel like you're talking to so-and-so too often. And regardless, this, was, this is an underlying energy here where it's kind of become a burden that has to end whether it's yeah there's the tower on the bottom whether this is about a situation that you are 
already committed to or a situationship or somebody that you're about to meet that's just gone through this or you've gone through this and you're about to meet someone, right? There's an energy here that that Ten of Pentacles became a burden. And that could be why there's such resistance to putting that last pentacle in the hands of collaboration, okay? Mother of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Justice. For some of you, you're just dealing with someone younger that's very similar to you, but a little over the edge, okay? And this could be a child, and um, maybe you've gone through divorce, and you're trying to rein your child in and be like, listen, we don't have all the money we used to have, X, Y, Z, okay? But again, I feel like it's this energy of the truth is so important to me. It's almost as if the truth is the final pentacle. The truth is the stability for you. The truth is what makes you feel stable. And you're really trying to work here towards that empress energy, right? We've got love. We've got the knowledge. You don't feel very supported in your fire energy. You don't feel very comfortable at home, which could be within yourself. I kind of feel like that's what you're working on. That's why the Ten of Pentacles is so important to you. But it has to come with a truth. Okay? Temperance and the Father of Pentacles. Okay? <laughs> the Hanged Man, the Tower, and the Three of Wands. Okay? It's like you're waiting for this person, it's like, get off your ass, or I'm out of here, okay? You're both expecting the other to take the action. And right now, I feel like that's not happening. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of waiting around here not a lot happening. Um, you're both sitting in your towers and the towers are crumbling. Okay. Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Six of Cups, there's the Queen of Coins and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Again, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. I feel like there was an equal giving going on here. However, it's almost like, again, I feel like Knight of Cups, I'm playing a little bit of a game. I'm a little immature. Could be a little younger, but I'm a little immature. And if I step it up to the Seven of Pentacles, what are you gonna give me? And I think with this Queen of Pentacles energy, you kind of walked over that. You were like, whatever. I'll take that pentacle and I'm going to go my own way, right? And the whole time you're trying to manifest this truth and they're standing in these emotions going, okay, well, what did Libra do? What did Libra do when I, when I sent that message or gave that gift or said what I said, right? The emperor... Nine of Coins, the High Priestess, and the Six of Coins again, right? Their energy is, I know that you know what I'm doing, and I know that you've got more to give me. Why aren't you giving it to me? 
okay. This person, <laughs> there's your empress. This person, I feel like, has <clears throat> a struggle when it comes to love and conversations of intimacy are almost like easier from afar, spirit showing me. Because I'm feeling almost an energy of breadcrumbing here. And again, what they want is love, Ace of Cups, underlying. But they need to love themselves, okay? But I feel like something's about to shift here. Ace of Cups with the Eight of Wands and the Mother of Cups here, right? Yeah. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, Four of Swords. <clears throat> Somebody's figuring out they need to say something or they're never going to heal this. Because I feel like there's a rift that's happened here. And it could just be within themselves. Take that as it resonates, right? That mother of cups. Yeah, there's that seven of coins, the fool, and strength. The more silent they are, the more powerful you become and the more you start looking to your future and I don't think they want you to get away there's the three of cups on the bottom I think they're starting to believe that this is faded and they don't want you to get away if this is someone new they're trying to get the courage up with the page of wands to ask you out okay because they haven't said anything to you yet two of wands with the moon the star the seven of wands and the two of swords oh libra okay you are like i want it one specific way and i feel like this person's getting ready to start putting in some work and some effort You're, you haven't shown up as the queen of wands yet. You're protecting your heart by protecting yourself from the real intimacy here. And I feel like that's going to come to a very specific moment in time where you're going to have to address this. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. There's that Ace of Cups, Five of Swords, and the King of Cups. Okay. Underlying King of Coins. You still have to heal something here. This person is realizing not only how much they love you, but how much they love themselves because they're healing. I think that they want to come forward because they want to help you heal. Okay? And they want to heal this between the two of you. about this nine of swords spirit queen of swords five of wands and the ten of wands again whatever this call out was in this deck it's a call out again either someone that you've been involved with for a very long time you saying listen this is what I expected from you and I haven't gotten it right like you haven't put in the effort in or whoever the other side of this is, I feel like could have been called out because of the connection to Libra. And this was a lesson to teach this person 
what they really wanted regardless. And for some of you, that meant a separation. Okay, where either you separated from someone you've been with for a long time, or this person separated from their third party energy. Okay, justice here with the Queen of Swords, the Devil, the Page of Cups, and the Empress. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with the idea of asking you out. And I feel like you're happy, happy within yourself, and you're obsessed with, it's almost like chasing more fertility, chasing abundance. And part of that is chasing that, that fire, okay? And the tower with this energy, ooh, it is the emperor. Staring at the Empress with the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Okay. I want to put in all of that effort for that final pentacle and transform this into something that's not just friendship. Okay. Queen of Pentacles here in the past. Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Mm. I think you had the opportunity to heal through some sort of an argument, some sort of a dispute here about the way you were being, being treated. You may not have seen it that way. Okay. High Priest is here. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. I think after the fact, this person realized that the Seven of Pentacles was a manipulation tactic. And they moved on, but not without some sadness for the way that they treated this situation, for the way that they um, acted. It was a good change for them. Okay. Okay. I feel like they're still healing right now. Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, the Magician. They're trying to turn this into something less seedy, okay? Like, they're like, yeah, I'm very attracted to Libra, but I want to have a conversation with Libra, Libra okay? I want to manifest something more with Libra. And Libra... All you see with this person is the fire. And you don't want them to talk. And <laughs> death in reverse on strength. Okay, king of swords. Ten of swords. You do really. Here's the thing. This person feels shut down by you sometimes. If you don't know that this person has feelings for you, it could be in the workplace. Because I kind of get the feeling that when this person opens their mouth, sometimes you shut them down with all of your knowing, right? Libra knows a lot. And um, yet the truth is, is that I think that you're very turned on by this person's intelligence. But you don't give them that chance to really put themselves out there because... You're really turned on by this person's intelligence. Okay. Two of swords here. I've got the six of cups, the world, and the two of cups, right? You're protecting your heart because you're afraid. And it's actually not the six of cups, it's the three of cups. But it feels very six of cups -y to me. You're afraid of tying this deal up and having love. Okay. And if I have love which is what I actually want, then I risk getting hurt. I think this person knows that, but they are in love with you. Okay, that five of swords, queen of wands, three of swords, seven of swords. Yeah, there's the king of cups again. They want something big, four of wands underneath. They may not even know how far they want this to go, but they're like, let me be 
<laughs> they're singing to me this old song about let me be your shelter, okay? They want to be your shelter as you heal. And they know how that feels, right? And they want to walk with you through this pain. I feel like if you will let them, it opens up the actual intimacy here. And then that's what will bring you that final pentacle energy. Okay. What else here, spirit? Yeah, there's a big cycle coming to a completion here. And it's happening before you know it. Um, there's an energy that this started with Neptune moving into Pisces. And you didn't see this cycle, almost like the cycle of bland, okay, was coming to an end. Because that first card, the Queen of Swords, like there is not a drop of color in that card, right? Like your life is like truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God, right? Like you're mm, very much in that very analytical energy right now. But yeah, you're going to come to life. Summer, soon. Angel number 666. And I love that this is yin and yang. We've got the nines and the sixes, okay? From one end of the spectrum to the other. Where, there's my empress. Coming in to this fruition okay very soon for some of you there's my fortnight it could be in two weeks there's also the sevens which is july right or it could just talking about you and your seventh house okay but spirit says anytime now something's gonna happen here okay yeah there could be factors here between the two of you that have to heal. Um, triggers, red flags, family issues. Um, you could definitely be different cultures or just have something different that you are like, my family wouldn't approve of this. Um, or this is generational where I'm almost getting for some of you Libras this generational like feelings of that intimacy was very almost like if you were raised in a very very strict family where the only reason for sexual intimacy is have a kid then you're done with it sleep in separate beds, right? And so you're healing that for some of you, okay? So, but you've got to let go of trying to control this. This is your soulmate that you're calling in, and again, very soon coming in. Twice, soon, very soon. Spirit saying, this is happening, okay? This soulmate is happening, it's going to come in very flirty, trying to make an effort. But you've got to separate from this old aspect of yourself. Okay, if you want to fully embrace your Empress energy, you have to have all of the queens. Okay. Oof. Yeah, and you want this strong new beginning. There's strength and the full and the two of swords, but you don't know how to get there. Okay. This person, I think, knows Knight of Wands. They know exactly how to light your fire. And they're very determined to show you that they are exactly the change you need, Will of Fortune, and the Five of Swords, right? There's an energy here that, again, I feel like they know they screwed up in the past and it replays in their head. They don't want to do that again. And so I do feel that that is some of what 
they've been trying to sort through. Yeah. Emotions are running high with that super moon approaching next month. Okay. Um, it may be for some of you, I'm getting this energy. It may be that super moon in August. And that leads to the new moon in September, where you're finally able to heal the body issues that you have. Okay. Now you're stepping out of your comfort zone and I think you're slightly aware of it, but not fully. But this is about coming to a specific intersection into one moment and then moving forward. And you may not move forward on the same path with this person at that time, but it's a very healing energy regardless. All right, I experience love in all its beautiful glory, not just some of it, all of it. That's what you're going through here, Empress energy. I awaken the limitless love within me. I am abundant, okay? You're trying to awaken the empress within you. Underlying, <laughs> I see clearly actions of manipulation. I see the truth. That's underlying, right? My mind is a reflection of my physical world. You're being too much in your mind because of things that you're trying to heal, okay? Let's close it off with an oracle. And then I'm going to move to the extended and look at their energy a little bit deeper. Okay. Yeah, again, here's this landing in the body. Okay. Get very introspective. <laughs> Twelfth house. Yin and yang. About balancing your masculine and your feminine. And once you do that, you can sustain your body. And you fine tune and you move forward. Angel number four, four. Okay. So I feel like it's time, Libra, right? You know it. For some of you, again, this is a committed relationship and there's not been a spark and it needs renewed. For some of you, this is something that sparked a little bit in the past, but it hasn't really gone the full route. And for some of you, this is something new that's going to come in and spark you. And they've been through it, and they've healed, or they're healing right now, and they want to help you heal. Okay? It's a little bit of a, a mishmash story today, but there's a little bit of something in here for everyone. So I'm going to look at their energy, uh, see what Spirit wants to share in the extended. The link is down below, or you can find the Patreon program at MindsetUnicorn.me. Don't forget to like, okay, that helps out the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, much love. Bye.